go ahead and unload the cart and uh, fill this tandem. They're going to work on, uh, Marvin Austin are uh, going to work on bringing the uh, other two tandems back here. Grandpa went ahead and took that load in this morning up to Malden and uh, got all the windows clean. Dad realized, or finally agrees with me, uh, how uh, hard it is to clean the windows on the combine. Not as easy as what it was on the 9650. Getting onto that platform on that right hand side there is not the easiest thing. What we got going on today is uh, we're on the north half or northern part of this uh, farm here. So we're gonna go ahead and pick this up to where dad had it opened up last night. Uh, that'll finish up this split for this part of the field. And then we got the town ground that's just uh, even with that part of that town ground when we cut those beans, so uh, I think like a week and a half ago. And uh, beyond that, there I think is another split. And uh, I know we'll get all of this up to the town done today. And after that, I'm not sure if we're gonna move over to that field of Marv's or if we're moving across onto the east side of the road over there to uh, another field of Marv's. I'm surprised this question hasn't been asked yet uh, in regards to how much fuel this thing goes through. Uh, in perspective to the 9650, it burned about a gallon to the acre. This on soybeans was burning about a gallon and a half and uh, we figured it up yesterday and based on how many acres we ran through now granted it was down so we only got about 80 ish acres done we probably went through about two gallons of the acre on fuel this thing drinks the fuel in corn and i guess you could say the same for beans but yeah this thing loves the fuel definitely gonna need to get like a larger fuel tank on the truck because the truck's only 110 and uh, we need to get like a custom made like 300 gallon tank uh, for to just keep on the truck at all times and uh, that way we can see out the back window because that's the issue we have with that 110 we can't see out that back window very well so we either need to go up to Buchanan's up in Westville and get something made up there or uh, I don't know get a, a Thunder Creek fuel trailer that would look really cool uh, following that S690 around Just wrapped up this first split here we're gonna move on to uh, the town ground split and uh, then after that we got that north little triangle piece and then we'll figure out where we're gonna move if either we're going to that field or that field dad just finished dumping on the last tandem here Marv and Austin are over in Malden dumping and uh, I'm not entirely sure where grandpa went necessarily we really don't need the black truck right now but eventually we will I'll go ahead and finish filling that tandem and figure out uh, what we're gonna be doing in regards to opening that piece up. Somebody's on our channel, and I understand it's open, but I just want to know who in the area is on channel 21 and talking about picking corn right now. <laughs> well, it looks like Dad's way down there in the corner. 
Got another tandem coming in. Grandpa and I moved the semi up to the farm there and he's bringing his truck over here and we're just getting stuff kind of shifted over to the north here. I guess uh, I might have to head down there and dump him. It looks like there's no way in the world he's gonna make, the, make it back all the way over here. this part broke open there's some short rounds headed east and west and then there's a triangle uh, in the back part of this that's running north and south so uh, we're seeing some pretty good numbers on the monitor and uh, to confirm we're gonna go ahead and bring the way wagon out here and make sure what we're seeing is actually true because if so wow and uh, so we want to go ahead and get it calibrated, and uh, since these are short rounds also, especially with this 12 row, I'm going to go ahead and dump the car, Dad's going to go ahead and dump the combine, and we're going to go ahead and send Grandpa to go get the way wagon, and uh, we'll get this thing calibrated and make sure that it's dialed in. We're going to go over there in that triangle, since those are longer rounds, and uh, go over there and just fill the car, and... Uh, I'll just fill a tandem whenever they get back and we'll just keep going until Grandpa gets here with the uh, way wagon, the Calvary. A little bit more. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, it's clean. Oh, looks like Grandpa's here with the way wagon. Uh, they just brought another tandem and he's taking the, uh, the full one in. I'll go ahead and help Grandpa get the way wagon set up after Dad finishes dumping on me. And uh, we'll make sure that this monitor is reading correctly. <laughs> monitor calibrated now and uh, got it dialed in it was reading a little bit low uh, so that's good because now uh, the yields are even better than what we thought they were and uh, they were already really good so that's even good to even better to see higher yields on the monitors so that's good uh, we're gonna go ahead and pick this triangle out and uh, we'll go from there I'm not entirely sure uh, where we're moving next again, you know, if we're moving there, if we're moving over there, but uh, I believe anything under 19% we're hauling in, and anything over that is going in the bin, and right now, uh, I believe the corn's testing right at between 18 and 19%, so we're still going to keep hauling it in.
looks like there's dust flying on the horizon over there. Looks like somebody's cutting beans way over there. Got the augers set up. Looks like they're dumping in the bins right now. I'm not entirely sure what the moisture is. Dad's been on the phone. I'm guessing with uh, a customer of ours that, I, that we know pretty well. And uh, so I'm guessing uh, it's over 19. Or this could just be all going in the bin. I don't know. Uh, who knows? But like I said in the previous videos, green car driver is the last to know. So uh, my job is to get it from point A to point B. To Load it like a box car, drive it like it's NASCAR. Let's go. Well, we really swamped them today. I'm gonna finish up this triangle here in about, I'd say another round, two rounds yet. I'm full, tandem's full here. I think there's a full tandem sitting up there yet waiting to dump. Uh, looks like he's just getting one pretty much finished dumping right now. So he should be bringing uh, a tandem back here pretty soon and I can dump. Uh, I'm gonna find out here soon uh, where he wants us to go next, whether that be across the ditch or over across the road. We would be using our semi, but they don't have a swing away auger. Uh, otherwise, we would be. Um, we'll use our truck uh, when we're hauling into the elevator uh, when it's dry. Dad just got the field done, and we just got another tandem in. We're going to fill this thing in no time. I'll go ahead and let Dad dump first. That way, if he has to fold down. Okay, got a game plan here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and unload the cart. Dad's unloaded. He's headed over to uh, that field across from Norm's house there, or across from the farm. He shouldn't have any issues, I don't think, getting across the road there, getting over there with the 12 row on. At least he better not, because I really don't want to have to go and get the head cart and just move it to literally right across the road. But hopefully he'll get over there just fine. And uh, we'll crack that one open and uh, see uh, what we're gonna do here because we pretty much have them swamped right now on corn and uh, at least this is all going right to the to the bins right there so it's literally right across the road so it's not gonna be a too big uh, too big of a deal waiting on travel time for the trucks but uh, definitely gonna have them swamped though. those ends off and I'm following dad right now down to the other end. We forgot that there's actually point rows along this uh, uh, side of the field because this road is actually on a slight angle so the field actually runs this way so there's going to be point rows all the way along this edge here. Um, so we'll go ahead and get this side opened up and get down to the other end and open that up and uh, get this field completely opened up and uh, looks like He's got one dumping right now. I know he just pulled into the field behind me with a empty one. Oh, looks like he's gotta swap out and get another go-go juice for him. Oh, taking a stretch, yep. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get a camera in there eventually. Get a little Greg cam action in there. Oh, it looks like he's got a little stash of cookies in there too. Yeah, look at him smile. Yeah. <laughs> eventually we'll get a Greg cam. So I'm looking at my phone right now and seeing a nasty weather system moving across uh, Illinois right now. I know we are supposed to get rain i know there is a chance of rain but whether we get the rain or whether it just dissipates when it gets to the state line is two different things uh 
half of me says uh, or hopes that it does rain so or at least we get a little bit of a rain so we don't have to move on to beans and uh, stay and we stay on corn here but the other half of me says I hope it doesn't rain so we can go back cut all of our beans that are ready get those done get the rye planted that needs to be planted and then switch back to corn. All I care about is as long as the combine's moving, that's good. I, I can if you want me to. I, I was just gonna go dump on another truck. You want me to come and get you? Driving in circles. unload auger to, to uh, see how fast this thing can unload. I mean, I would assume it would be straight with 421. Got another one dumping over there, one lined up, one full over here, and I'm getting close to being full. I can catch another dump and a half from the combine, and then I'll be full. I don't know how much we're going to be able to do before... Getting low on fuel. Time for a fuel break. It's a change of plans. We just got done fueling up, and uh, I guess uh, Marv called and said that the bend's gonna be full here pretty soon, so we're just gonna go ahead and quit. And uh, I'm just working on emptying out the green cart right now into these two tandems. And uh, we'll call it quits for today. See what it does. I'm kind of hoping it does rain a little bit because I really don't want to cut beans. I mean, I do, but I really don't. I'd rather stay on corn. Thanks for watching, guys.